Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and we're back with Camp A2, episode 78, Mighty Nine Time. We've only got about 15 minutes, but the way we ended it, we are on our way to Zadash. We came across smoke. We had not go. Frumpkin followed. I thought it might be bad people or somebody that we don't want to cross, but it ends up being a bunch of slaughtered horses and people. I think they said three slaughtered bodies, like totally ransacked and torn to pieces. Two horses who were torn to pieces. The cart was missing because they said there was definitely branding or something on the horses. I forget the wording that Matt used, but something was on the horses. Braiding? What did he use? Either way, there was a cart. The cart's missing. I can't help but think based on the appearance of these slaughtered people and horses, that it has something to do with the Laughing Hand, Yasha, and Oban. Because we did scry them many times. We saw them making their way. The last time we scryed them, though, it said we saw Jorhasian skies. We scryed them the first time, and it said they were appearing to be by geysers, which was in the vicinity of Komorda. Was it Komorda or Komordar? Kamadar? I can't remember the name, but it was Bo's hometown, the town of wine, Lionette wine. That's where we make it. She then tells this weird story about how her father was poor and got a parcel of land in this town because a fortune teller told him to. Then we scried her father, whose name is Thoreau, like Bo Thoreau, and he was acting very sketched out. I mean, for good reason. Jester was acting like Venoth. There's so many names. I think, I, yeah, I think that's right. Arcanist Venoth, pretending we were them and saying, I'm watching everything you do. And the dad was a little freaked out. Then Bo says, well, my dad used to tell tales of a witch that was going to come one day and he owed the witch something. So I've got to assume these stories intertwine. The fortune teller is probably the witch. She probably made a deal with the father and said, I will bestow greatness on you. You'll buy this parcel of land. You'll become a rich wine family. But in return, kind of like a Rumpelstiltskin thing or something, you made a deal with the devil, so to speak, and she's going to come knocking one day for something. That's what Bo made it sound like. We didn't really get much information beyond that, and it was very encrypted, but we'll figure that out later. Right now, we're on our way to Zadash. We made a 13-day trip in about an hour because we went from where we started this episode to Trostenwald to Allfield. We saw Thaddeus candle glow, which was nice. Jester did something funny by giving him a statue of the traveler to put on his mantle, but also slipped him 10 gold. And I thought that was pretty smart because if you're trying to recruit people to your religion, so to speak, it wouldn't be a bad idea to throw some coin to some people that are opening new renovated establishments and now he's got this thing on the mantle. So people might ask. I mean, we were already told that the mantle was not decked out with the greatest of things. A bag of nails and a wax fruit. And now we got the traveler statue. So it will be a conversation piece, I'm sure. And people will bring it up and maybe we'll get more people to traveler con. But either way, the way we ended it, not was relaying to Frumpkin what she saw. Caleb can hear and see, but can't say anything to Frumpkin because Frumpkin is so far away and we're going to jump in. You guys want to see more of what I do in the description of every video is a link for Patreon. You'll see these Patreon hour exclusives for every episode. Peaky Blinders, Doctor Who, Person of Interest, both seasons of Vox Machina. On to the new Justified. I think there's only two episodes left. It ends the end of this month. Hundreds of other things, full on edited episodes of all, if not Camp A2, episode 78. Mighty nine time. So I started muttering to Bo, and it's only 15 minutes oh, left. Oh, but it's warm inside the dome. It's warm in the dome. It's yeah. not cold out there either. While I wait for them, I'm going to just walk around and look for tracks or marking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Make an investigation check. Oh, fuck you. What is going on? Um, That's no, where I paused I it. 15. 15. And it did 15. a weird... Am I letting no, right. I'm sorry, 13. <clears throat> Might just be coincidence, teams. but that's where I okay. ended it, coincidentally. Um, okay. So, uh, looking around here, you do see tracks. One, you can see what look to be dragged wheels, grooves in the ground. But whatever cart was here was then was removed dragged. from the set horses and then taken in a southeastern direction. Okay. And it was dragged. All along a little bit? Uh, so someone stole the cart, the killed the horses, Some and dragged the cart. Damage, like so they had to be strong. Some appears to be small slashes, 
and uh, gash marks. You recognize in particular just because of your previous experience. Uh, some of these are very akin to or similar to the wounds left by goblin attacks. Oh. Goblin weaponry. Oh. oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Goblin attacks. Let's All go. right, so. I got my coat. Did not expect that. I'll wait for my friends to arrive. Okay. From Knot's experience, because Knot is <laughs> a goblin. Up and you can see, not Knot, but you see the, the goblin attacks. The array so are we going to run across of goblin or uh, before Knot's you people? and the, the massacre scene left behind? Can anyone tell how long they've been here like this? Yeah. yeah. Let's check the bodies. Are we going to do like a medicine check? Mm-hmm. Medicine or you could check. raise the dead and Guidance. ask. Guide me too. Mm. <laughs> Talzin can, or Thank Caduceus you. can raise the dead. Damn it! Jesus. Wow. Shut All right. up. I'll do a medicine check. <laughs> Jester has been rolling horribly. Oh, but I have good medicine. AKA well, Laura it's only 16 This seconds. whole episode, yeah, miserable rolls. The um, only good roll I can remember the bodies have probably been dead for... was Candle Glow statue, I think. I'd say about six hours? Ooh. Seven oh. hours or so? All right. Oh. That's, I'm going to... D- d- does one have a have a face with any of them? Does the one that uh, really two of them have faces that are functional. <laughs> a working face. Does any of them have a uh, yeah, because they were no, pretty lax butchered. And cut, bloody to shit. The third one is just a, a mashed mess. I need to go for that one, so we just go like oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I like that Caduceus asked that. Are any of their faces intact? Because it wouldn't make sense to raise them from the dead if they can't talk. Does that look like it was goblins rolling something else bigger? Can make an investigation check. Yeah. And can what we... were the creatures that got attacked? Are they humans? Are they? Uh, from from what you can tell, they both. That's appeared, a good question. The ones that they're still able to make out much of their features appear to be human. Okay. So the dead Eleven. bodies are human. Twenty-two. Oh god. We can ask that. That was good. That face that crushed it. Stone. Um, appeared to be something hard. Mm-hmm. Um, a large bludgeon, a heavy hammer, something to that degree. Or a heavy, you, you don't see a, like a, a boulder nearby that is messy or, or bloody, mm. um, but it definitely has that sort of impact feel to it. Some oh. sort of identifying armor, or clothing that would say no armor. Uh, no look armor. To be travelers, okay. your all their decent goods, or identifying characteristics that would give you those clues appear to have been stripped from them. Sitting up, sitting up. Uh, all right. The, uh, Caduceus is up, choice, raise so the dead, uh, ask some questions. Uh, uh, casting Speak with Dead. Uh, All right. Speak with the dead, here we go. We'll get some answers. Again, the younger of the two looks to be a man, a man probably in his early 20s or so, a bit unshaved, like a chin beard starting to come through, a bit a little scraggly. His eyes are a little dull, you know, kind of a shame that he went so violently at this age. But as you complete the spell and focus on, you see the, the lungs fill in, and there's a slight kind of Horrible groaning moan as it exhales the first time. As Jester sneezes. Oh, hello, friend. Uh, what happened to you? How did what what happened to your 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 group here? We were sleeping, and something came upon us. Fast and many. Some bigger. Many smaller. So lots of tiny I goblins, but bigger stuff too. What, what's the bigger? What they must have you, just been uh, massacred in, their, in their, their sleep. Friends. Woke up dead. We were on our way to the dash from Allfield. You hear the hype man from the corner? Yeah, to the dash. Sorry, he's like. <laughs> <laughs> No one's making a tipsy dash in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, we're well in this episode. After the break, we'll likely make it to the dash. Thought we stay off the path for safety. And that's the only response you get beyond that. You want to know more about the big ones? Yeah, I want to know about the big ones. Or what are the big ones? Are they massive? Attacked you? Did they? Was it just? Crushing blows, there was no fire, there was no magic. I saw nothing scratchy, just screams and terrifying <coughs> chuckles and 
The breaking of horses and men. The breaking of horses. How many were in your party? Those are your three questions. Uh, oh, I thought I five. We have five on the start. Three is the commute. You do have five questions. Oh, thank God. I was like, oh my God, did we mess up? Three of us. Just the three of you. I think that was a bad question because we already saw. anything else you would like taken care of? I mean, they could have took others. I guess it's not the worst question. Resolved. No. I would have, like the, Sam, Sam was saying, I would have specifically well. asked what it's do not, these big ones look like. It's the personality of the soul speaking through. No. It's the memory of the flesh. I was curious if there was, if there was, if there was like a task at hand that had, had right, right, name. right. They're gone, to be fair. Yeah. 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 I think no, we I, should have had one of those questions farmers. inquire more Three about the big ones. I would have said, I saw a sign what we do the big the ones look like? Are they giant goblins or trolls? Vermin of the hills are picking up again. I'm assuming with all of the soldiers being yeah. moved to the well, goblins specifically. Oh, it was goblins. Didn't it? Was it? Oh, not goblins and no trolls. No, just Didn't say trolls. No, just goblins. No. Goblins, and something goblins and something big. Something big. Goblins and something big. Um, the goblin tribe. We should ask more about that. Um, Sam right they, away was like, they have big things they traveled around with. We usually just had goblins with. I, I mean. You know, in our clan, we just had goblins, and they they worked with some non-goblins, but they weren't giant creatures. They were, there was a human. What's human? A woman. The woman who Oh, who did yes, 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 okay. A mage of some sort. I don't know her. A hooded woman. I'm gonna... Decompose, hit everything that's still here, and just kind of put it in the mm -hmm. corner. <laughs> Tell me about it. And with all the, um, I can't remember. I don't know if not looked or not, but um, with all the wheels and the carnage, is it? Can we tell where things have been dragged in what direction? Yes. Yeah, I said south. Uh, yeah. southeast. Yeah, southeast. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. I mean, do we follow the goblins, or is it kind of like, no. well, the yeah. goblins got Six some hours. veggies. Yeah. I mean, I really would love to kill some goblins, but That's I'm not going to hold us step. up. Yeah. Finish the rest of the night, and then we head on to the dash. I would love to kill some goblins, to but Zadash? we don't have time for that. The, the, the remains of Anybody a fire time for that? that was seen from the distance? That's what alerted us that something was out here. Yeah. Uh, well, this is this was found in the morning. This is when you guys were like before consciousness. The sun just began to rise, and that's when you begin to notice the smoke trail. Smoke trail. So you've had a night's rest. So the no day's fire. beginning. Correct. No, no fire. Just, all right, so we had a full night's rest. We, we investigated. We Happened six, again. seven we hours ago. Southeast time. direction. No. All right. Can I just look all, <laughs> all over the ground just to see and make Travis sure that nothing that was cool got something. left behind? Any sparklies like sure. left on the ground? Make a uh, make an investigation check. It's not Guide. a bad question. Guidance. Well, guidance. I'd, say, I'd say if you're not rummaging through things, you're looking. I'm looking all over. The investigation room. or perception, your choice. Okay. Ah. Wow. I feel like goblins would leave no stone unturned. Really I feel like luck. goblins would make sure they didn't drop anything or leave anything behind. They're like scavengers in my 22. mind. Twenty-two. <laughs> she might find something. Uh, it looks something like you though. find uh, three copper and a silver piece that seem to have not That's been it. taken by the attackers of this. That's endeavor, but nothing okay. in particular. A, lot. <laughs> a silver, looks like, yeah. Looks like the farmers unfortunately lost their plus three vocal sword to the goblins. Mm -hmm. they were Too bad. <laughs> Ex I would right. expect you guys continue on that or less. Yeah. yeah. Goblins, I would Two think, would pick travel. up everything. You head towards the amber road northward, <laughs> the familiar space passing by the offset grave site that had once caught your attention as you made your way northward. Oh, that's right. Until eventually you can see, heading down into the valley, the familiar triangular outer wall shape at the base of the mountains, the city of Zadesh. We have made it. Bustling and colorful from this view above. I think we're going to break there. Since you've been here. I knew you would. Mm -hmm. Just waiting for it. You make your way down towards the southern gates, the entrance to the main city. There you can see there is a. Um, uh, about ten crowns guard, buffeted by an additional ten righteous brands. So we got at twenty this dudes, entryway. twenty people. As you approach, to a smaller degree but familiar, a procession of people who are making their way into the city after being just looked over. It looks to not be quite as extensive as the Wuyun Gorge entryway, 
but they are giving kind of glances and allowing folks in one after the next. Any preparations mm-hmm. you wish to make as you approach? Cobalt soul vestiges. Yeah, Rocking all our Wait, cobalt Wait, we don't have soul. to be in disguise here, do we? Oh, um, I do, sort of. But I think... They've seen us before. If they've seen us before, they should know who we are. I yeah. just want to look a little bit more official, that's all. Do our clothes that we're wearing, do they look very Jorhasian? I assume, or yeah. 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 Then yes, I think maybe we should not be in these clothes. Okay. Yeah, you've gotten a few looks. <laughs> you know, uh, not, not like, oh my God, the Jorhasian, but just, it's a it's a, a style that's not very common in the Empire. And, then we definitely need know, to change. In, we don't want any suspicion. I'm going to put on my purple dress that I took from Nicodranas. All right, okay. purple dress. Yep. Bows decked off. out no, not doing in cobalt Back to my, my original soul. scrubby leathers. Scrubby leathers. I'll mask my myself face. look like just Veth. Or Veth. Okay. Yeah. Cobalt soul look here. Cobalt yeah. soul. What about Caduceus? Yeah. Did we say Caduceus? Yeah, it's just uh, I could take care of myself for the day, but that is that takes quite a bit out of me. But I will do it. Or you can just put on your old coat. Yeah. Oh, I got rid of that. Do you want to put on one of my dresses that I brought from the Goddard? Please do. I hope Caleb wears a dress. <gasps> you know what? Wait, hold on. I'm gonna look. I stole that We're fancy right cloak. I d- yeah. Shut up. I stole uh-huh. that fancy cloak from shut the up. Um, cabinet. We're right outside. Shut up. Oh, that was. Was a wasn't it like a kimono mm-hmm. sort of? A... I don't know. It's probably no better than what you're wearing. <laughs> Just, uh, seeming. Oh. Um, On all of us? I, I could, but everyone seemed to have a plan. Yeah. Does anybody want any changes for the next eight hours or so? Okay. Eight hours? My dress Damn. is really nice, so I'm okay in it. Uh, uh, Caleb looks the way he did the first day you met him. Alrighty. I'll take, I'll take, you can just make my Veth last eight hours instead of one. Yeah, sure. that's quality, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot longer. Eight yeah, hours as opposed to one, to I'll take it. The dash. So now we're good for like a, the quarter, like a third of a day. Glances over. Do we recognize any of them? No. From our time previous? Okay. None no, there's the, them kicked my cat. The one who <laughs> kicked my cat. You do not recognize the ones that kicked your cat on this side of the city. I've learned some things since the last time we're here. Yeah. I've learned, learned some things. things. I'm going after the guy that kicked my cat. Who was that? They go ahead and usher you guys Oh, past. Matt had a roll, so we made it. Gates into the familiar city. I'm now arriving on the muddy cobblestone streets. We might Zadash. break here. A f- familiar sight, though it's been a while since you visited. It's weirdly comforting. Um, looking around and seeing the you know, standard I love it. The workers horse sounds. and citizens amongst the peasantry and the occasionally well-dressed noble making their way through. You begin to move towards the inner part of the central city that looks of the like Empire. It. What would you guys like to do? Oh no, we're gonna do something. We're actually gonna do something. Oh, we gotta go to the Cobalt Soul! Yes, yes. yes, yes. First, yeah. first thing, actually, before we even do Fumets. that, the tower is, how is it? Cobalt Soul. Make perception check. Oh. I'm surprised we're rolling uh, anything. I thought we were going to be that's done right there. Uh, 21. 21. Uh, the tower is visible. Uh, it's one of, the, one of the larger spires, of, you know, one of the three tri spires. Um, appears to be standing and fine from so this it's distance. No longer, it's no longer at an angle, it is straight up. All right. Okay. All right. Straight up, now tell me. You know, this might actually be a good spire. place to go ahead and take a break. There it is. Yes. I was so surprised. I'm like, are we actually going to. I'm like, how are we going to do yourselves anything? Yourselves, getting your bearings straight. So we saw the spire. Which path to take as you look upon the horizon. We're going to take a break. We'll be back here in a few minutes, but before we jump in, we do have our giveaway tonight. Nice to be back. I'm happy back we made it to the dash. dash. I started thinking what not was thinking. I'm like, are we going to use the majority, majority of this episode? Uh, in the live stream, to get Devin to Root the dash world there. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Dragon head design right there. They've had some the interesting designs design. of recent. Um, <laughs> this is currently available through Roman's Kickstarter campaign, so go ahead and check it out to get a chance. Uh, the keyword for tonight is homeward. H O M E W A R D. One word. Uh, enter only once, more than once, you'll be disqualified. And once again, for folks in the US and Canada, excluding Quebec, we'll be back here in a few minutes with a winner. We'll see you in just a moment. Yay! 
All right, everyone, that's it for episode 78, campaign two. So we made it to Zadeesh. I'm impressed. I started thinking what Sam was saying. Sam said something along the lines of like 10 minutes ago, we're never going to make it to Zadeesh. And these people were heading there. Caduceus awakens this body. Am I crazy? I feel like Caduceus wasted a couple questions. We had five questions. We did the first three pretty solid. And then Sam is saying, ask about the big ones, which I was most curious about. Not just curious, but that is probably the most important thing. We know that goblins were here. We have not investigate, not knows her own kind, what they do, what they're capable of. So we know right away it's goblins. But there is also big, giant somethings that were able to, like, crush in the skulls and heads and faces of a human body with ease and then drag a cart away because they killed the horses. They must be capable of dragging or pulling the carts with ease for them to just so willy-nilly kill the horses. Why wouldn't you leave the horses alive and let them do the work for you unless it was so easy to do or carefree that you're just like, no, forget it, I'll just drag the cart. These things got to be massive. We spoke of possibly them being trolls. I feel like that was confirmed not to be the case because Matt was like, I never said anything about trolls, but it doesn't mean it's not in this particular circumstance. I just feel like it isn't because of what he said. But I feel like Caduceus should have been like, tell us more about the bigger ones. Instead, his fourth question was, how many of you were there? And we already know there's three bodies. Now, granted, they could have took people with them. But does that even really matter to us? Unless we're going to go hunt them down and save these people. It happened six or seven hours ago. We already knew that at that point. I just feel like that was an unnecessary question. We already saw all the bodies. They butchered everybody. I'm assuming they didn't leave anybody left alive. This dude was like, we woke up and we were attacked and we were instantly violently killed. I don't know. I feel like the last two questions were, even if we got answers of some sort, it was unnecessary when we should have asked more about the big ones. We just kind of decomposed the bodies and then split and we got to Zadash. So we're in Zadash. We easily got past the 10 crowns guard and the 10 righteous brothers. Matt rolled. He must have rolled bad or something because he did give a roll and he's like, they usher you by, you're through. We changed our clothes, we changed our appearance and we're in Zadash. The first thing we do is roll to see what's going on. We see the spire in the distance. It is no longer tilted. It is upright and intact. And then Matt must have realized if we keep going down this road, it's going to get later and later. It was already nine o'clock and we ended it. What else do we need to talk about? I feel like most of it was talking to the dead body, investigating the area. Nod was pretty much saying, I wouldn't mind hunting these goblins down and killing them. I mean, we don't know if they're the goblins that directly interacted with Nod, but it's possible. But regardless, we have bigger fish to fry. We have to go to Zadash and we made it there. I wouldn't have been surprised if we got sidetracked into another adventure or mission, so to speak, and didn't get to Zadash till the live stream. We know what we're dealing with. So we have made a 13 day journey. Well, this was 15 minutes, the hour Patreon exclusive. And we did do 30 minutes in the live stream because we hit 50 likes in the last one. So I guess it was like an hour and 45 minutes. We started, we made it 13 days, and now we're in Zadash. And I'm excited. You guys let me know what you think. You want to see more of what I do in the description of every video is a link for Patreon. You'll see the Patreon hour exclusive for every episode of Campaign 2, Peaky Blinders, Doctor Who, Person of Interest, the first two seasons of Legend of Vox Machina, on to Justify, two episodes left in Season 1 of City Primeval, High School Musical, The Musical, The Series, Season 4, Heartstopper, Season 2, hundreds of shows. We're starting Fiona and Cake Next week, Patreon, full-on edited episodes of everything. If not, comments down below. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace!